Coral reefs are one of the most important and diverse habitats in the world, but they are suffering from the pressures of human activity and climate change. In January 2005, the yacht Amadis sailed into Barbados for the start of the Amadis project. The Windward Islands were to be the first leg of a worldwide project to set up local reef survey teams and train them to monitor the health of their reefs on a regular basis and to promote sustainable practices within the community. Hi, I'm Lily and uh, I'm the captain of this fine yacht Amadis, uh, also the project leader. Um, I've been living on Amadis for about a year and a half now and we've been spending that time doing her up and getting her ready for this big trip. And now we're finally here in Barbados and it's, it's great to be finally getting on with the project and everything, with our crew on board and it's all going really well. Yeah, I did, I did marine biology as my degree and uh, so to combine that with sailing was like the ultimate dream. So I just started looking into it and contacting people and seeing what was going on. And it's taken about a year of sort of exploratory emails, phone calls, seeing what I could maybe do with Amadis and, and make her into like a research vessel. And we came across Reef Check, which is sort of ideal because I'm not, I'm not highly experienced in coral reef ecology. And Reef Check is a way of doing surveys, collecting data that's useful to help coral reef research and conservation. And I got some crew together um, after hundreds and hundreds of requests, many, many crew, and whittled them down to five for this trip, well, five including me. So I've got a really great crew now, and uh, just going from there. My name is Paul Kingston, and I am first mate on the Amadis, and just one of the divers on the actual project. My job is to do the articles and any publications for the project, so basically I just write so far, I've written articles for local press, yachting magazines, regional press, that kind of thing. We've sailed about 4,000 miles to get here, and now we're going to start the project this week. Over the next two weeks, scientists Kim and Ben trained the sailors Lily and Paul how to recognise their tropical fish, coral, sponges and invertebrates, as well as the diseases that affect the marine life of the Caribbean. You know, if they're just, you know, recreational tourism or whatever, and then say, well, you know, and then... Well, my name is Ben Lauren. Uh, I'm a marine biologist. I just finished uh, at the University of Florida. I'm here as kind of a supplemental scientist. 